So OpenAI's new model O1 is here in preview form at least and you can use it right inside ChatGPT. But how good at marketing tasks is it? And is it finally time for all us pesky marketers to go and retrain as OnlyFans entertainment technicians? So we're gonna be using ChatGPT to run a series of marketing tasks using the old model 4.0 against the new model O1. How they come up with these names, no idea. In our first task, we're gonna be coming up with an idea for an advert that we can run on Meta. So I've given it a bit of information about the business, about some of the objections that need to be handled. Any of these models will do better if they're given more information and more background. I've asked it to come up with a scroll stopping video ad, some copy and a suggested CTA on the landing page. So how does 4.0 do? This is the old model, remember? Well, this is supposed to be our scroll stopping ad concept. And I gotta say, it's pretty boring, but we've got a number of different scenes with the explanation of how it all works. Then we've got some copy for the ad, which again is fairly boring, it's fairly dry, but it does the job. And then we've got a CTA, find out how much you could save today. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I'd say it's solidly average. So how does O1, the new model, compare? Same prompt, now we've got a different scroll stopping ad. Now I'd say it's still not scroll stopping, but it's a little bit more creative. This concept is definitely more interesting. Whilst the ad copy is better formatted, I'd still say it's not good ad copy. There's some really weird text in here, which you definitely wouldn't run. The CTA is pretty similar, but that's a no brainer CTA for this business. So that's okay. So in this first task, is the new model better? Maybe slightly. In this next task, I wanna see if ChatGPT could come up with a great blog post based on this video. So what I've done is I've fed it a transcript of the video and asked it to come up with a keyword optimized blog post using this transcription, suggesting title, H1, H2 headings, and a CTA. So how does the old model 4.0 do? Well, it's given me my headings and it's written a blog, which is very ChatGPT-ish. It's taken the structure of the transcript and it's fleshed it out a little bit. But is this a good blog post? Absolutely not. It had loads of information to play with, including some specific examples. It didn't use any of that, and it's just created something which is really generic. So what about the new model? Same prompt. Now you'll notice that the new model thinks a bit. And if you click on this little arrow, you'll actually see the things that it's thought about. Well, sort of, it's actually reworded some of these, but you can see it's being a lot more thoughtful when it's coming up with the answer. And this is why it's supposed to be better at reasoning tasks, because it's thinking before it acts. This is why people are so excited about it, because it's supposed to perform better at complex tasks. So has that made any difference to the output? Well, it's ignored my H1 and H2s. It's done a better job of taking the transcript of the video and actually more directly translating this into a blog post. So this is more detailed, but it's gone super bullet pointy. This whole thing is just a stack of bullet points, which some people are gonna like, but you wouldn't usually publish a blog post that looked anything like this. It has used an example from the video, so that's good. And it's put a CTA in as well. But should we marketers be dusting out our OnlyFans logins just yet? Maybe I've got high standards, but I feel like given the amount of information this thing had, it should have come up with something better than this. Okay, final marketing task then. This time we're gonna feed it some data from Google Analytics and ask some really straightforward questions. I've given it some data about different countries that visitors are coming to the website from and some data about those visitors. Okay, now the old model struggled with this. It got a bit stuck, it tried to fix the format, and in the end it couldn't. When I reformatted the sheet and submitted it again, it did a lot better and it was actually able to do the analysis. And what it's done is it's given me little league tables of the different countries based on their performance against certain metrics. And now it's not that useful because a lot of these we've had one user from this country. So you can't really make any judgment on the entire country based on one user. That's kind of a silly thing to do. So I've asked it to run the analysis again. And it's done it, it's given us the same table, but this time taking out the ones with low user numbers. So how does the new model compare? Well, because the new model in preview you actually can't attach files so instead I've just had to paste the CSV. Now it took a while to think about this more than a chat GBT minute in fact which felt like 200 human minutes but the good news is it's given me more useful output so it's broken down the countries as the old version did but as well as that it's then cross-referenced all of the top performing countries across each of these different categories and it's given me the best countries overall then given me some insights and recommendations and even suggested some actionable next steps so to me this is a much better out so my takeaways on the new model so far if you need reasoning it's better if you don't need reasoning it's a bit of a toss-up is this a complete revolution? No. Is it the end of marketers? Not decent ones.